Gardening is rewarding on so many levels. It's why we all do it. The intrinsic satisfaction of growing a crop from tiny seeds to an epic harvest. After you've grown successfully for a few seasons, maybe it feels like you're on cruise control, you might be asking yourself, what's next? You're producing more than you can possibly eat, and your comfort level with each successive crop is at an all-time high. The itch to turn this wonderful hobby into a real business is very tempting. And you know what I say? Go for it. There has never been a better time to turn your backyard passion into a money-making venture than there is right now. Hey, maybe you've already started to turn a profit by selling your excess produce. That's great, and that's usually how it all starts. You and your garden are producing at a consistent level, and you've got the product to show for it. And that means the hard work is kind of already done. That's all well and good, but how do we make the leap to a full-fledged business? Well, today I got four ways to level up your gardening game that you can implement right away this season to turn your growing passion into a viable business. Today's episode is brought to you by Local Line 2.0 the marketplace platform built for us farmers. It's quite something to turn a hobby or even a lifestyle that you love into a business or career. The beauty of doing that with your garden is that you can start right away with only minimal tweaks to your current process. If you're just starting out and first looking into this, the growing side of things actually doesn't change too much, which we'll get into. The one big change is gonna be on the business side, obviously. Managing customers, Inventory levels, marketing, deliveries, price list, availability list. That's the part that's going to be new and require extra work. One way to minimize the impact of all that work and maximize the time you spend on it is a software solution. And you want one that's tailor-made for farmers. This is where Local Line comes in. Whether you plan to sell direct to the consumer or to other businesses, managing the day-to-day -day of that can get overwhelming and take up most of your time. We know the time demands of the farm itself, so that can't happen. Software such as Localine takes all those tasks, which would be entire jobs onto themselves, and packages it into an easy to use platform. Let me show you the basics before we get into the gardening strategies. Right away, the first thing you do with Localine is to set up your branded online store. And it's much more than just a website. Think of it as a portal, a platform where your customers interact with your product and inventory in real time. You set up your customized price list and availability, and your clients order and pay for your harvests right there, all within a single platform. Picking lists and delivery options are then generated for both sides automatically. It's literally never been easier to sell your fresh produce. And because the online ordering and instant invoice generates the same list as a picking and packing list for you, the farmer, there's never a discrepancy between what the customer orders and what you pick. You can easily add or delete items as they become available or sell out all in real time. And if you've got an abundance of stuff like this kale here, create sales and specials to move product faster. This way, you're not selling stuff that you don't have or that's not quite ready yet. And you're consistently moving the stuff you've just harvested. I know it all sounds so easy, but it actually is. Which brings me to the first way that you can generate income from your home farm and that starts when the season starts. If you're an avid grower, you're likely already doing this every winter to get a head start on spring. That's right, we're talking about creating and selling excess plugs and starter plants. And the way that plugs and starters are produced logistically lends itself to being scaled, infinitely. Producing a few dozen starter plants has basically the same time and energy costs as producing several hundred. Space is gonna be your only real challenge here, so get creative and go vertical if possible. Locally sourced starter plants sell like hotcakes. As a keen grower, you can provide a better product, more variety that's better for the environment. Customers really dig that and you can charge a premium or at minimum, match the current market values. Take it a step further and move the plants along as they get older and larger. Their value goes way up as I'm sure you've seen in the stores. This will open up new customers who want most of the work that's already done for them. 
On the flip side, the end of the season sees the end of your crop's life cycles. Obviously, but it doesn't necessarily have to be the end of your income. In the world of flowering plants, that means seeds. Now, this one is a bit forward thinking in that your market for the product is likely the following year. But it's actually not that long of a wait, as seeds are collected late in the year and eager growers are craving and buying new seeds earlier and earlier every year, as you well know. Again, like starter plants, you can offer a superior product, hands down. Local, sustainable, fresh with higher viability and backed by the growers themselves. You. Now, when you're selling seeds, you'll want to ensure that you grow open pollinated or heirloom varieties only. You have to be able to guarantee the genetics and that your product is gonna seed true. You need to ensure that your customers are getting the fruit that they're after. And selling unknown or hybrid seeds is a sure way to end your seed selling business in the first season. Like we mentioned, most gardening business start out by selling their extra produce, whether it's curbside on your own property or at the local market. This is your lowest barrier of entry to begin your gardening business with almost no risk. If space is limited, try to steer clear of large space demanding crops like potatoes and corn, as your return on square foot of growing is gonna be very low. Focus on high value crops that grow fast. Lettuce, spinach, peas, and even herbs. Microgreens are an excellent venture as well, although requiring an entirely different indoor setup and set of costs. Same concept though, high value for low input and small space requirements. Going even further than that, you can up the ante with value added items by processing, drying, or preserving your harvests. This is a great way to not only earn more per item, but to also extend your selling season well beyond the growing one. And lastly, we have the end goal for many growers, and that'd be selling to either restaurants or directly to consumers through a CSA. This is essentially the top level to take your garden business to, and means your production and reliability has hit peak consistency. A direct connection to your community that'll in turn give you access to a dependable revenue stream, as well as upfront payments to cover the increased costs of leveling up your game. And once you reach this level of operation in your garden, an e-commerce solution like Localine becomes essential. But why is that? Why not simply hit the pavement, cold call, do all that legwork that's traditionally done in this space? Because you want to grow, both figuratively and literally. Deliveries, pickups, inventory management, marketing, pricing, Each of these things is a full-time job. Would you rather have your hands in the dirt or be micromanaging all that stuff? No brainer, right? So how does it work exactly? First things first, when Localine approached me about sponsoring a video, I immediately thought to myself, hey, wait a minute, I'm pretty handy with Excel. I'll just make my own homemade system with the same feature set. Yeah, nope, not possible. So then I decided to research other companies in the space. Well, that turned up literally no one with a farmer-first, gardening-centric business model. Localine really feels like it was built by gardeners, or at least people passionate about local food production and sustainable practices. That means something. On the surface, Localine just looks like an advanced CMS, or customer management system. But when you dig deeper, you'll find it's much more than that. It's a complete e-commerce solution designed to allow farmers to sell online, market, and grow their business beyond what simply working harder can do. Think of Localine as this all-in-one business tool for farmers, you and I, to have this smart branded storefront tailor-made to each specific customer. You control what each of your buyers can see, as well as unique price lists that are tailor-made for each of your tiers of clients. And customers get to see what's available right now what's fresh and what's ready. This eliminates miscommunications between farmer and customer that not only builds goodwill, but also saves everyone a ton of time and money. Currently, Localine has four tiers of plans available, starting out with their free basic plan. But to be honest, even this starter plan is far from basic. You'll still get your own fully branded online store, inventory management, and of course the ability to take online payments right off your site. And just like gardening for me, I like to try things before I commit. 
I'm not going to plant 400 square feet of carrots before I know for certain that it's a variety that delivers. Same thing when investing in your garden business. Being able to try something first with no commitment and no extra cost for me is highly appealing. And on top of that, just for viewers of my stuff, Local Line has given me a coupon code for a free premium feature. All the links are down below. And if you're serious about taking your farm business to the next level, Local Line can certainly make that a lot easier for you. Taking something that you love, something that you do for free every day and turning it into a business is really quite amazing. Feeding your community with your own two hands and generating an income produces this level of satisfaction that's really hard to describe. So if you've already conquered the seed to harvest cycle, most of the hard work is already done. And if you're gonna make that leap from hobby to business, I wish you all the success. Hey, thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate the support more than you know. And if you're getting value from these videos, please like and share them to spread the word and help your fellow gardener to grow better.